would correctly should be destroyed. <laughs> Consider <laughs> that as you follow your backup plan. That guy's voice. He's so pissy. No, sir. Trigger the alarm. No, sir. You're still gonna be stealthy as fuck. Is right there. The safe's heavily encrypted. The decoder's gonna take a little longer. Understood. Intruder alert. All security to the Damn it. <laughs> How did they know? In this game, they pretty much put it out there that death is not fucking pretty. <laughs> Being a security guard, one of many security guards. Shut a laptop again. So it's just so much easier. Reporting in. Prepare to receive a download of the meeting data. Priority request for an institute support team to protect the president before he goes to Alaska. No time for that now, Agent Dark. There's been a development during radio silence. The craft carrying those planes I was talking about was shot down over Nevada. The weapon responsible was about from Area 51. That's where the survivors and debris will have been taken. You're to prep for immediate dispatch when you return here. Carrington out. What? Area 51? Oh, what about the president? Yeah. What about the president? Come on, dude. Back. Alright. Next up. Background. A craft carrying institute advisors has been shot down in Nevada. Debris, Nevada, Nevada. Who cares? Debris from the crash and the bodies of the advisors have been taken to Area 51. A spy inside the base has managed to get footage to the Institute of a possible survivor. This mission is to rescue that survivor. Carrington, this is a disaster for us, and we need to get our ally out of there before it comes too late. There was some special equipment inside the craft as well, which must not remain in Trent Easton's clutches. You'll have some support on this mission in the form of our spy inside Area 51 who is disguised as a guard. Objective 1, shut down air interceptor radar. This device was capable of penetrating the stealth shield of our allies, perhaps so that the robot interceptors could be vectored into bringing them down. If your escape is to be accessible, you must destroy the radar control unit with the explosives, and it will likely be hidden underground surrounded by lots of mainframes. Objective 2. Plant comms riders on antenna array. The underground sections of Area 51 are protected from eavesdropping devices, which means that our link with you and as soon as you enter the base, to remedy this, you should place a communications rider device on the satellite dish near the foot of the entrance. Or near the foot of the entrance. Okay. Objective 3. Disable grounded robot interceptors. Even with the air interceptor radar down, the robot interceptors themselves will be a problem. Take out as many of the grounded units as possible. Our last sat photo showed two on the ground, but there may be more. And there is. Uh, there's one more, actually. Objective 4. Gain access to hangar lift. Going in through the 
foot entrance would be suicide, so direct your attention to the hangar lift instead. Our spy reports that you need a key card to operate the lift and that a maintenance technician will be your best bet to find objective 5. Make contact with agent. Our agent will be dressed as a guard and means he cannot stray too far from his posting inside the base without attracting attention, so it's up to you to find him. The station in one of the two main hangar levels, which is unfortunately as specific as we can be. So, yeah. Okay, Joanna, take a look at this. Our operative inside Area 51 was able to get this out to us. Okay. That guy this right This is your there. entry point. A deserted <laughs> helipad on the edge of the base. Funny thing is, if you stop the cutscene, so that guy that is walking away is beyond will that actually wall. still be there. Watch out for these guards. So, yeah. Here's the communications antenna. Attach a comms rider bug so we can talk to you when you're inside the base. Again, watch out for hostiles. Oh my god. I know. Here is our friend. Brilliant. He appears to be physically unhurt, though he hasn't regained consciousness yet. By the look of it, the surgeons are almost done with their preliminary tests and will begin dissection soon. But who was... Any questions? No. Good. Away you go to the hangar. Agent Dark, mission log, 1028 hours. Against my better judgment, I'm about to enter Area 51. Yeah. Alright. Anyway. Nope. Stop him before you act. These assholes do have grenades and they will fucking use them. So you need to be really fucking careful. I wanna save the grenades. That's gotta be a glitch, cause that always happens. I fucking play this game. Oh, oh. Fuck your defense tower, you dick. Alright. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and fucking work on this first. game more difficult than what it needs to be is because you have you have the lack of cover in some oh my god in some places I'm hit. I'm hit. Jeez. seriously fucking die yeah. I'm probably not gonna make it out of this mission because I get hit one more time it's fucking over for me period
There's the antenna. But I can't throw a bug that high. Where the fuck is he? I get shot, I won't know where I'm gonna get shot from. So. Oh shit! Aha, fuck you, buddy. Alright. Let's see if we can keep going. Alright, yeah, assholes will appear from here. This minefield is dangerous as fuck. Oh fuck. not going the way I planned it. Well, sort of. I mean, I don't have fucking things shooting at me now, but... I mean, at least that's better. Why? Maybe I can go ahead and pick this key card up that I... Alright, there's the lift key, but we still have to come down here and do stuff first. Now, there will be an instance where there is a guard... ...randomly right here, for no fucking reason, and it's a Datadyne guard. Just chilling. Not doing anything with his life. What's that? It does nothing. Gotta put explosives on it, and then... Gotta make your way through without touching the lasers. Hopefully I can. Okay, just this last, last one. There we go. Alright, we out. So down there, well... and fucking start busting caps. You know what's gonna make me mad if I fucking die right here, though? Oh, no! Oh, that was scary. Close it. Close it. I know if it's hard for me to fucking see, it's even worse for you guys. Get that asshole fucking laying on the ground. Just playing this as safely as possible. I'm trying to. There's a guard up there. Oh shit. He was ready! Oh, he was ready. That motherfucker was so ready. Oh shit, that was that was the most ugliest thing I've ever seen. And we'll use this dragon for our purposes, uh again. Careful with that trigger for your age of darkness. You're closing in on my like... Yeah, we get shot again, we're dead. Period. Position. We get nicked. Bye, we're done. I just can't see. My gun. I should have killed all of them. And we're good. 
All right, we made it with with one hit left. There you are. I was beginning to wonder if if what if you've been discovered yet. And frankly, if this is how you work, I'm amazed that you lasted longer than five minutes. I was tidying up one of your loose ends. My loose ends. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you wanted him to shoot you. I can call in some more guards if you like. Okay, okay, forget about it. I'm going to let the Institute know we've made contact. Alright, well, we should know who that asshole is. Our agent friend. Alright. Anyway. Uh, we already read that. Need to cover our tracks and rescue our friend as fast as you can. A disguise will help you do that, but it won't last forever, so make good use of it. Wipe out their records and make sure there are no more survivors we are unaware of. Time is pressing, so hurry. Oh, excuse me. Objective 1. Destroy computer research records. Any information that Area 51 techs were able to get from the crash wreckage and objectives. Objects, Jesus, must be wiped from their databases. The main databank terminal is kept in a locked room at the top of the main corridor. Install a virus using the data uplink device and then destroy the terminal itself. If the virus is uploaded into other terminals, it may produce helpful effects. Objective 2. Locate conspiracy evidence. Jonathan's report made reference to a tissue containment unit where organic samples are used to at extremely low temperatures. He believes that it could be used to cryogenically freeze bodies before surgery or dissection. Find this area and confirm the death of any of the three other passengers of the aircraft. Or of the craft, excuse me. Objective 3. Obtain and use lab technician disguise. Find a lab technician's outfit and use it to get past the security. Once you have, move fast, since the theft won't go unnoticed for long. Objective 4, gain access to the autopsy lab. A premature autopsy will be taking place in one of the secure medical laboratories. It will be locked to those who are without clearance, so get a card with the appropriate level to get in. Not all cards will work. There may be a door guards as well. Objective 5, rescue the crash survivor. Once you're in the lab, you will have to get into the autopsy chamber before any harm comes to the subject. The scientists will try to kill him if they think he's alive or will attempt to damage what they think is a corpse as soon as they see him. Yet again, speed is vital. And so yeah, there's Jonathan. Is that there is no way to sneak into the research section. The only way in available to you is a weak section of wall like marked in the room beyond the stores. It can be destroyed with explosives. Doesn't sound like a problem to me. Where are these explosives? In that crate. Cute. Very cute. By the way, the stores are crawling with guards. It may go against your nature, but try sneaking through rather than blasting everything. No, blast everything. Certainly. Any other pearls of wisdom? That crate. Yes. It really doesn't like being shot. Right, now if I can just fight the urge to report him to base security. Alright. This crate, we're not using it. We've got to <laughs> Dragons and that shit's going to hurt a lot. Target sighted. Nice. I'm glad I can fucking strafe. Like that that is literally the only that is the godsend of this game. I'm glad I can strafe. Unfortunately, I am so much faster in the N64 version due to the simple fact that the strafing is uh the C stick. Now, obviously the strafing is still the left stick, or the right stick, but, um, it, like I said, Joanna just kind of drags. 